Hello, in this video, I will tell you how to convert a 3D model into 2D geometries and also how to add title block, scales and other things in your drawing. So after completing any 3D drawing, you need to present it into 2D manufacturing drawing uh, in a way that can be understood by drafters and designers and so that it can be manufactured. So basically this video is dedicated to that. So first open a 3D model that you have right now. I'm using this gear to represent the tutorial. And once you have got this, you also need a template. If you don't have a template, uh, that that's okay. You can create your own template, but I have a template here for this video. And once you have this model open, go to layouts. So on 2015 AutoCAD, click on this arrow icon and go to any layout view. Now, once you are in layout view, you'll see that a new tab appears here with the name of layout. Click on it and you'll find all the tools related to layout. Now, click on this layout, right click and click on from template. Now, move to the location where you have the template. I have a template here. So, I'm selecting this template which has got title block and scales and rulers and everything. So select it and click on open. And click OK. And here we have this A3 template or the A3 layout. Now this layout has its all the properties, all the title block and everything else and that you can insert in your drawing using this. Now let's go and start from this template. So click on base and now click on from model space. Make sure that you are in layout view and once you click on from model space it will take some time. Okay so here we have this model. Now click at any point on this layout where you want to place this model. So right now I'm clicking here and once you're satisfied with this position click on this OK. Now it will project you, it will prompt you to select other locations and on the basis of this primary object or this primary view, you'll be able to place other views. So now if you move it upwards, it will place the top view downwards, it will give you the bottom view and the left, right and the isometric views. So all these views will be created depending upon where you click. So now I'm clicking on the top and I'm clicking here. So now we have these three views. Once you're sure that all the views are complete, press enter. And this will generate a 2D view. So here we have the 2D view from this 3D drawing directly. Now let's make some changes here. At first, I will create a section view from this view, the view which is created on the top. So for creating a section view, here you'll find this section tool. So click on this section tool and now select the object which you want to use as section which you want to use as uh, creating section view as for creating section view now click here and click here so this line will mark your section line and now press enter so here we have this sectional view place it where you want and once you are satisfied click OK. So here we have this sectional view and if you will zoom it closely you will see that this has ANSI 3.1 hatch pattern and here we have this arrow and along with the section icons and the section letters. OK now let's go and create other details in this if you are interested in creating some detail views also that also you can do so go to detail select the view which you want to use for detail view and now make a circle since we have selected a circle in this case so it will prompt us to select a circle so click at a point that will be the center of circle and now make a circle so now here we have the detail view of this circle obviously this is very big we'll take care of that and click here now as you can clearly see that this view is very big and you need to decrease its size so click on this scale and on this drop down menu you'll find different scales so now let's go and change this scale to 10 is to 1 
and here we have it so if you want to change it to something else you can change it let's go and change it to 50 is to 1 and press enter and here we have the detailed view of this if you are satisfied with this view click on ok and the detail view is generated here also you'll see that the details are mentioned here but yes you can see that the size of all these text is very small you can increase the size of this text so select the text and a text editor window will pop up change the size of text from there and close it so obviously by doing this you can change the size of text you can also manipulate this text using these groups so these groups can be used to manipulate it and to place it wherever you want so here we have it in a similar way you can change the text for these views as well so select this view and change it to 5 press enter and close this text editor and now let's select these grips and let's move it here and let's move it here as well uh, maybe we need to move it more and yes we are done so here we have these views and these details clearly mentioned now now uh, in most of the drawings you'll find that this isometric view is shown in shaded view or hidden view and a 2d wireframe view is completely making it uh, very messy so let's go and change this select this view and go to edit view from this edit view on this uh, appearance panel you'll find this visual style switching drop down now go to shaded with visible lines and it's changed if you want to change the size of this you can also change its size from here and if you want to change the edge visibility that also you can switch from here now click on ok once you're satisfied with this view so now here we have created some of the views and some of the details for this drawing and if you're satisfied with this you can clearly click ok and add all the other details one more thing that i want to point out here is the placing of all these views and the sectional views top view front and bottom will depend upon the angle of projection which we which you are using so to find out which angle projection you are using click on this layout so right click and go to drafting standard setup and on this drafting standard you'll clearly see that the third angle is selected by default so if you want to change this to first angle go on switch it to first angle and all the views will follow now first angle but right now it's in third angle so change it to third angle and click on ok now let's go and add dimensions into this drafting view so to add dimensions go to annotate tab and from this dimensions panel you can simply add dimensions as you used to add in uh, the normal view or the normal model view so let's go and add dimensions to this so for adding dimension let's turn o snap on so that we can exactly snap at the required points and let's add the dimension values to this so here we have it now the size of dimension is obviously very small so that will take care so click here and click on modify and now go to fit and change the overall size of dimension so I'm changing the overall size to 10 units and click on ok and close so the size changed to 10 units if you find that you need to change your uh, dimension size even more you can go to this again this option and change the value to 15 or 20 unit whichever you find suitable so I'm changing it to 15 units and now close it so this seems appropriate to me now let's go and apply other dimensions as well for example let's go on to radius and let's apply radius to this so here we have this radius of 1.4383 units so it works in a similar way as you used to do it in uh, drawing or model view so that was all and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment box and as always thanks for watching